Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone everybody. I am very sorry for the chaos that was uh, Thursday night's stream. I was incredibly overstimulated and really didn't realize my boundary until it was too late with how much I was struggling with stuff like the stream, but here is hoping that um, everything is going much smoother today. So give me just a quick moment to actually be sure that I have stuff for my drawing set up. Uh, our first round for who we are going to draw today is who we were supposed to draw uh, yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but Thursday. Oh, I forgot I'm not in a voice chat. You can't see my little character. There we go. That should be much better. I hope everyone is doing well. Oh. Bunny, nice to see you. And actually, that reminds me. Oh no, I need to reconnect my speech chat to flipping Twitch because I had to change my password again. All right. Here we go. And no, I'm not going to say what my password was. I'm not. I, I may have smooth brain rip. moments, but I'm not that smooth brain. And yes, rip. Yeah, for those that didn't tune in on Thursday night, um, I was chatting with some friends, Celine Heidelman and Kala to draw my stream brother, Vega. Um, for those that don't know Vega's content, uh, be sure to check them out. Oh, well, <sighs> gotta do my thing again. Technology, can't live with it, can't live without it. Swear. But I'll be shouting them out in just a quick sec. Uh, Vega goes by Hile. Um, hold on. I cannot do one thing and the other at the same time. But for my stream bro, Vega, uh, check tech them out. Tech dumb sometimes. Oh yeah, tech, tech be dumb sometimes. That should be reconfigured. Um, if anyone uh, wants to like find um, folks that want to uh, sit and like chill. the smart boards in school. Oh, the smart boards! Do not get me started on the smart boards. But yeah, going back to shouting out my uh, stream sibling. There we go. Uh, so, Vega has been doing a lot of drawing as well lately. They're in a bit of a financial bind, so be sure to check over uh, his content. He is hilarious, in my opinion. Uh, please show him some love and tell him that Rosa Dust sent you. For those that are actually new to my streams, I forgot to introduce myself at the beginning. Can you tell I'm not a pro at this? <laughs> but hi, I am Rosa Dust. You can call me Road Dusk. Just call me anything that you would call a friend. I am a variety uh, streamer that is actually going to be showing and debuting a live 2D model on the 30th. Uh, on the 30th when I have my Donathon. Uh, for those that are curious about the Donathon, um, it's also going to be a celebration for me getting to affiliate. Um, I'm planning to do a 12 hour stream from noon to midnight Eastern, where I'm going to be taking donations uh, in relation to my financial situation, but also I want to provide quality content for you guys. So I'll be taking suggestions throughout my Donathon on what you guys want to see. Um, 
I am thinking of having all of my point redeems be 25% off. I think 25% off would be a good one. But everything's going to be uh, cheaper, and especially in relation to the uh, September. Um, there will be like some special things that you do that, that you can do if you donate a certain amount. Uh, I do believe currently with the September uh, subscriptions are $4 a month, not $5 a month. So there will be something special if you uh, either donate a sub or two subs. It'll be more explained when... Um, when I post the milestone information in my server and on my Twitter about three days before my donathon, which it, for anyone that wants to keep up with me, my friends and shenanigans in uh, our Discord server, please be sure to check it out. Please know that it is 18 plus, just like my streams, not because I am absolutely horny on main 24 seven, but because I am an adult, a lot of my friends and streamer friends are adults, and a lot of them are 18 plus and horny on main, and I love their company, I enjoy, I enjoy their company, and at least from my experience, I know how annoying it can be sometimes to have to mask- Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. How dare you? How dare you TTS? That is important. But <laughs> for the Discord, please know that my server and my videos are 18+. Not because of any like super bad topics, slash J. <laughs> but because of just fuck words. Uh, namely because of just content, uh, especially for in, in relation to my friends. Um, a lot of my friends are very lewd uh, folks, and I live for it. So. I want to keep my streams and my content 18 plus so that everyone can have a safe adult environment, especially because there are some things that we talk about, especially such as like political discussions that um, not many people are comfortable with, especially for children to, to or minors to be around, which is understandable. Speaking of for my server for those that do not want to um take part in like political discussions that is totally fine um we haven't quite had a lot of hubbub in the server as of late to garner like any political discussions or debates but it has been something on my mind and if people would feel more comfortable uh having like a special role assigned so that only certain people can access the uh, political discussions, that is totally understandable, and I can get that set up as, uh, as soon as possible. But with that said, I hope everyone has been doing well. Um, Tell me a little bit about your days, uh, if you would like to. I'm curious to know, and I would like to have a conversation with you guys. Also, do let me know if there's any blurbs with um, audio or stream quality. Alright. 
New stream, who's the big cutie on the screen? <laughs> hey Zelda! You... you sly bean. I hope you've been doing well. How have you been feeling, Zelda? Have you been recovering okay? Doing well so far, which is good. Yay. How have you been, Dusk? I'm doing alright. Better than Thursday. I had a meltdown on stream when I was trying to get things situated with uh, my streaming for the night. I was supposed to be drawing Vega here then, but I just got super overstimulated and I took it out on the folks that I was streaming with and yeah even though it was effectively a non-issue it was just struggles with OBS and figuring out what was the best way to configure um, everything for streaming to be sure that I had good quality which I already apologized to the 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 folks that I had streamed with, and they're okay, and I'm really grateful that they're okay. Lots of hugs and love for the bean. Thank you, Zelda. What have you been up to though, Zelda? Not much. Made a meme yesterday, as well as some funny jars. Funny jar? Oh yeah, the funny jars, I saw that. <laughs> Which, I mean, you're in my server, you can put them in the, in, uh, the respective spot that I need to be in, if you want. Only if you want to. Seriously, no pressure. Funny jar be funny. Funny jar be funny. Yeah, while I'm drawing, because this is a pretty relaxing and 
like this is a relatively simple thing for my brain to do. I'm more than open to uh, chat along with you guys. So if you guys BTW, have any oh, house spoons, spoons are uh, not a hundred percent. Um, kind of like uh seventy five. Well, no, more like two thirds capacity right now. Um, but I think I'll be able to handle um going through the whole stream that I have planned because this is going to be a double feature drawing of my stream bro Vega here and my stream dad uh, Lance Nauticola which is a funny story with Lance because like I I'm not sure if we want to categorize him as like my stream dad or not i joke about it a lot and he seems okay with it um but the reason why i i like joke call him my stream dad is because of how he interacts with frank and mew who is my stream mom lance and vega are big cuties or snacks for a better term. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Flippin' Almond would say the same, considering she calls everyone her snack pack. Which is adorable as hell. Uh, I should draw Almond next time that I have an open... Actually, I do already have it planned next week to draw Almond, so that's gonna happen! Snacks? Are we meant to eat them? Mm, depends. Depends on the kind of snack. But we have different mindsets when we call people snacks. Exactly. Exactly, Zelda. I, that's why I Wait, said depends. What do you call your community? I forgot. I haven't figured out a word for my community quite yet. I don't call them snacks because my whole aesthetic is similar to Vega Wishing Stars, who I'm drawing right now. A uh, very starry, astral, constellation, uh, very dreamy kind of spiel. Not dreamy as in hunky, but dreamy as in, like, sleep. Very chill. I've been contemplating something along the line of, like, Cloud Lane, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I might honestly have, like, a poll or something in my server. Road strikes me as very nebulous, drawing constellations to his galaxy. Stars for the people. That, that could, that could work. I have also been tempted to do, like, a Cloud Lane, because, like, I do see, uh clouds as being very connected to sleep and such it's probably because of the floofiness and also like the word nebula as in like uh, a group of stars literally is just a latin word for cloud so it's like using a cloud to reference um folks in my community wouldn't be entirely out of the realm of possibility or continuity Where are the cars to his road? <laughs> I honestly would have expected flipping uh, Joker to say something like that. But that that's very cute. Thank you, Zelda. Also, I'm keeping eye on redeems.
And then when you grow large enough, you'll be upgraded to our highway. <laughs> upgraded to the highway. I can't. So, what would this highway be, though? Would it be... Um... A, uh, a highway that I want to ride all night long, or would it be a highway to hell? That's for the future to know, and for us to find out. But for now, you're a road that's a big cutie. Wait, repeat question. The, the, the question was, um, because Zelda said earlier, when I grow large enough... Uh, originally Zelda had commented that the, the community is the cars to my road. And then Zelda added... The highway through the dusk guiding us all as we journey to tomorrow. We come together, pass each other, and find our breaks to rest along the highway that we've joined for a part of our paths. <laughs> you know, this could be something cool for like someone who's like a car enthusiast, but uh, to, to answer the question, Bunny... Um... Fur, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, Sorry. You're, you're good. Um... To answer the question, flipping, uh, Zelda said earlier that, um, cause when you or someone had asked earlier, like, oh, what's the name for my community? Um, Zelda had said that, like, my community is the car to my road, because I go by road. Um, and then Zelda had added, when I have a large enough community, my community can be called a highway. And so my question was, would it be a highway that I want to ride all night long, or would it be a highway to hell, in reference to two songs of those exact names, Life is a Highway and Highway to Hell? I think it would be all night long cause of your stars. <laughs> Fair. I'm second. You got things. A oh hydrate, thank you. Sorry, that took me a bit. I just recently made myself some tea actually and the the uh, the cup was still pretty warm. So I wasn't sure if I was going to burn my hand, burn my tongue, both or not. So I was being very steady with having my drink.
Honestly, I keep forgetting that you have the first and second redeems. <laughs> well... Very steady. Well, get good, Zelda. <laughs> I, I say that jokingly. I love you, Zelda. I keep forgetting, too. X3. <laughs> well, now you know. And knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe. And I love the bean. <laughs> Oh, I still gotta draw the straps. Ah, uh, but I'm getting so far up with the hair. Okay, I'm gonna get the, uh, the flippin' Ahegao first. Dragoon got carrot. Oh, dragon got carrot? Noise. Thank you for- thank you for feeding terror. It go nom nom nom. It go nom. Wait, I didn't see a uh, terror battle. What happened? Did did he win? Speaking of beans, did everyone else in chat know that they're a bunch of cuties and adorable beans? <laughs> I didn't see it eat the carrot either. Uh it might be because I recently, like, changed my password on Twitch and I have to, like, reconnect it. Like, reconnect the... The, uh, the thing. So, give me a moment. I want to double check if that might be it. Rip. Rip. Hmm. Should I just refund the points and we can try it again later? Uh, yeah, I would say refund the points for now. Because I can get this fixed up super quick. Okies. Oh, or at least relatively quickly, especially since, um, I changed my thing on my stream to where it's going one of the more faster um, outputs for the encoding. So hopefully that's not causing too much of lag. Dragon pets. Yeah, let me just... Double check on their website and like double check that I am connected with them and I will put in a new uh, Twitch extension link. Or just put in a new thingy. Let's see. Oh, I could change Terra's wardrobe. That is adorable. Oh heck, it doesn't use the queue. I'll deal with this later. I okay. need to take care of some RL stuff. Okay. Imagine it broke. Imagine it broke? What broke? At Selene underscore Hailman take care out there. But don't forget that you need to do a chef's choice trivia. Everything. Oh, chef's choice. Okay, yeah. So the chef's choice trivia is going Thanks, to be in relation Zelda. to uh, special interests. So, um, a factoid related to my special interests, which is linguistics. Um, did you know that in English, um, English likes to do a thing with stress accent? 
Um, a very interesting thing that I like to do specifically with stress accent is change a word from a noun or an adjective to a verb. Prime example for a few words, and I've uh, talked about this with some of my students, is insult, perfect, and address. When you say insult, it's a noun. When you say insult, it's a verb. When you say perfect, it's an adjective. When you say perfect, it's a verb. When you say address, it's a noun. When you say address, it's a verb. Alright, I think I got that reset. Oh, neat. So. Wow, and I thought English was stressful already. Three. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do a quick test for... Okay, that didn't want to show. So, let me see. Let's see. Insult is insult, but not insult. Perfect yep. is perfect, but not perfect. An address is address, but not address. Mm -hmm. Totally not confusing at all. This is a test. This is only a test of the emergency dragon feed system. <laughs> okay, but seriously, see y'all laters. All right. Uh, let's see. Sorry, taking a little bit of an instinctive break to just try and See if I can change the um, the dragon pets thing, like little terror over here, because I want to be sure that you guys can like interact with him. I wonder if I can make TDS beatbox. Probably, probably. Uh, I boots cats boots cats. All right. Uh. Aha! I found the issue and it's fixed. Yeah, it should be fixed. So I'm gonna do. I I'm going to feed the bab. I'm gonna feed the baby. Spooky text to speech noises to entertain dusk. Yes, and it worked. All right. We're all good. Y'all can y'all can feed and have fun fun with the baby dragon. All right. Now I'm going back to drawing Vega.
to add more to the curl here. Because there's a very prominent, like, extra, like, swirl to it going inward. So let's go. Did it work? Yes, it... Yeah, I got it fixed up now. So you're good to go. You can feed and battle and interact with terror to your heart's content. Hey, Dusk, guess what? What's up? You're a cutie. Uh, it takes one to know one, Zelda. I think that's gonna be where no
Alrighty. Alright, now the cur the curly cue, I think, looks right. Alright, now to work on the one eye that peeks out. It might be good for me to draw the other eye as well, just as like a mental thing for like, hey, this is where um, you you got things. Here, I need to have a lot, lot higher. Because ears, especially the base of ears, Question. Yeah. You okay for me to join VC? Uh... Sure, at the moment I'll say the VC is uh, open. Just keep a uh, note of like Twitch terms of service and whatnot for certain for topics. Kanikiwa Minasan Carrot U Carrot Road. That drawing is looking so good. Thank you, Orastasia. Yeah, yeah. Actually, or uh Orastasia. Uh I don't know if you're actually in my server. I don't think you are. Here is a quick link to my server, uh if if you want to. I would be more than happy to have you in my server, but if you don't want to, that is totally fine. I think it'd be super cool to have you over. Oh wow. Yo, thank you. Hell yeah. At Orastasia, you're an amazing person, adorable bean, talented artist, and a mega cutie. Yeah. No you Zelda, sweetest bean on Twitch. Know you. You two are dorks. Uh. All right, let's 
flip this and see that it... Oh, it actually looks cohesive! Oh, I love it. Okay. Okie dokie. Actually, let's get rid of like the extra stuff there. Okay. Everyone cute dork. Which, uh, Orastasia, uh, also, if you want to stick in the, uh, stick in the server, you're more than open to be in the VC as well. Like, I very much enjoy people's company. I'm just a dork, nothing more. You are a dorkable. That is a portmanteau of dork and adorable. That's you, Dusk. Uh, that is you as well, Zelda. Take it or leave it. I say that lovingly. I'm gonna leave it like this reminder that you're an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie. Thank you, Zelda. But please be sure to give uh, the same uh, love and support to yourself. You deserve it. Thank you so much for the kind offer road I'll have to take you up on your offer some other time cause my mouth is hurting quite a bit from my recent visit to the dentist and it hurts a little to speak out loud too often xd. Oof, that's a mood. Fingers crossed for a quick recovery. I don't know exactly what happened over at the dentist, but I hope it wasn't anything too serious. Or if it was, I hope that recovery goes quick. Thank you. Yeah. I hope the bean recovers quickly. under the jacket. Oh. 
Thank you too Zelda I'm making sure to take care and not put too much strain on myself. Yes, focus on yourself Orastasia. His eyes are such a pretty amber. Right? Vega's design is beautiful. Yeah. Which I'm really uh, hoping that um, people will like my redesign coming up when I have my Donathon on the 30th. Because I updated my design a good bit too. It's not nearly to the level of complexity as Vega's, but I, I think it fits. Actually, you know what? Uh, That's why Vega is a snack. Very much so. Oh, 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 interesting. I can't wait to see. Vega is very much a snack. Who loves snacks? We, we have established that, that uh, Vega is Kirby incarnate. Uh, recently, Vega had a stream, I think it was yesterday, actually. No, it wasn't. It was one time when uh, I was lurking and I uh, teased Vega with donuts and Vega nearly had a heart attack and, and they were like, I want the donuts, give me all the food. And I, I, I have called Vega Kirby and it's not going away. <laughs> Kirby incarnate you say? Is it because of his vacuum capabilities? Vacuum capabilities, especially with food. And it fits because he's a star. He's a star beam. He, he is a literal wishing star. Wow. I love Kirby and the Kirby game aesthetic so much. I've actually never played uh, any Kirby games. I do want to change Everything that. is so colorful and round. Yeah, from everything that I've seen for Kirby games, like, it's very round, it's very cute. Um very calming like pretty tranquil even with the dark themes that a lot of kirby games have which is surprising he got a bitty nose I'm gonna give my usual reminders to some people real quick. I'll be back. Okay. Try not to have too much fun.
I think actually that'll be where I'm gonna finish up the line art. Well, no. to just double check again that everything looks cohesive. Yes. Yes, it does. Good. All right, now uh, let's get the color palette. more for gradient, not necessarily um, like shadows and such. Oh, I need to have the star on the inside of the collar. Crap. Okay. Also need Okay, I think that's all the core colors that I need. Oh wait, no, I need color of his eyes. So a deep brown for the base. Then amber and then yellow for the highlight. I've just realized I've accidentally given Vega a very... Instead of making him look like um, his more femboy design, like what uh, he does for themselves, uh, I've made him look kind of more like teenager, uh, what, more like a teenage young adult uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. Like there's a lot more uh, maturity and kind of more elf-like, like traditional elf-like features. Am I the only one that sees that? Look at him. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I need to make you smaller. Ha On fake link end. is the blueprint for a lot of people favorite gender expression so that's probably a good thing XD. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's fair, uh, Orastasia. I know um, 
I know actually a lot of people like to, especially from uh, Breath of the Wild with uh, flipping words. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait, that's me. Where is my CD for. Where is it? Hold on. Discord. Alright, I can just do that. Okay. My mind was overcomplicating things as always, but um, I know that um, like Vega especially has talked about how uh, he uh, really loves AUs for um, for Link being uh, trans, and I feel like this has especially sparked uh, ever since like the wearing to wear like more femme clothing in Breath of the Wild in that one place. I don't actually remember it all that much because I never played Breath of the Wild. <laughs> you you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, Gerudo Link. Link. Yeah, Gerudo Link. Like, the, the outfit that looks way too similar to, like, the stereotypical harem outfit that you saw of, like, the prostitutes from Aladdin. And yes, I am- I have very high feeling that the- Yeah. Actually, on the subject of, of Aladdin, or similar to Aladdin, um, Bunny, have you watched, um, Twisted, the untold story of a royal vizier? By Star Kid. <gasps> Look it up. See, yes, but that would require logic and brain cells, which I, I don't have that many to distribute while I'm also drawing and chatting. Oh, fair. No, you're you're good. I was honestly also meaning that to like joke. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How have you been doing, by the way? Hmm. Right. Yeah, because as curious as I am, I don't think I want spoilers quite yet. Yeah, tips would be good. So you just, you 100% of it. Damn. Oh, I don't think we can hear your friend. If oh. they're speaking, that is. Hold on. Oh, thank you, Orastasia. I totally forgot that I still had the the Discord chat still muted on my OBS, so it wasn't picking oh. up your end of the conversation. Oh, no! See, at least that was only for, like, a few minutes, 
compared to like what a fucking half hour of when I was playing Splatoon three. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> Which is really funny. It's like I just glow and you just respond back like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, it's all <laughs> it's all fine for you, but for the streams, like they're only getting half the conversation. <laughs> the stream is like, "Oh, you're talking to like a ghost." <laughs> oh, one <a> spooky ghost <laughs> on the stream. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we should be all good now. Okay, that's <laughs> main color. Now <laughs> For a second, voice. I was about to joke after now like 30 two seconds. On the screen. <laughs> because remember, there was that super delay on my end. Oh, yeah. Which I, I think I got the delay fixed now. I mean, there's obviously still going to be some delay with streaming. Yeah, now... But yeah, the right delay now, is not super shortened now. Yeah. It's like... 3, 4 seconds delay, maybe? Yeah, compared to, like, what, 30 seconds fucking last time? <laughs> yeah, I just, like, hear you just, like, laugh in, like, a maniacal way. I'm like, what do you do? I'll check the stream after, like, 30 seconds. Hey, Dusk, guess what? What's up, Zelda? Yeah. Now that I'm hearing myself, I say like a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's a common filler word in in English. Like You're nothing still wrong a with cutie. It. Well, it still takes <laughs> one to know one, Zelda. Funny, help, help me convince uh, Zelda to compliment themselves. All right, uh, I got it. Look at Breath of the Wild Zelda. Boom, there you go. <laughs> Speed one, three seconds. I also want to be sure that, like, my sound alerts for, like, uh, people doing sound bits and such are going to work. Yeah, because, like, you got me now. <laughs> yeah. watch your like full VOD of the second time you play Splatoon. So mm -hmm. I gotta check how far you are in that. <clears throat> for your um for your Splatoon. Hmm. Yeah. So I gotta check up on that and Yeah, see I haven't gotten like super far. At least I don't think so. Um, I mean, like, I'm still on the first site. Have you opened the entrance to the second area? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a while since I actually played. Because <laughs> I've been prepping for, like, the Donathon and whatnot, so my mind hasn't quite been on Splatoon at the moment. Yeah, understandable. Also, um, a quick question. Did you connect your... Did you have Splatoon 2? Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I know with... there's like golden ticket thingies. Um, I know those are for like um, when you battle online. I haven't battled online quite yet. I'm wanting to get a little farther in the story mode before I start doing um, before I start doing online battles. Ah. Yeah, because like uh, of course I connected my Splatoon two to Splatoon three, and what the gold tickets do is that. You can choose any three weapons that are locked. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if you have a weapon that's like locked in like level, like for example, 23, just use a golden uh, ticket and boom, bada bing, you got your favorite weapon back. I got a golden ticket. Yeah. And of course, you got three of them, so if you wanted to, you get all three de weapons that you like. Cool. Of course, I wasted my three gold tickets, so... On what? Uh, I just picked, uh, three weapons that have, um, wave breakers. Oh. Because, like, it was so fun to use wave breaker! I mean, you do you. Honestly, it's, like, pretty powerful. <laughs> if it like hits. So. Oh, uh, you you wanna know my funnel count for the eggs? Sure. Uh, I got like seventy thousand. Seventy k. Yes. Holy and shit. remember, I repeated some of those levels, so that's the reason I have so many. Seventy k. Holy shit. That is a lot. Yeah. And the highest um, entry requirement that's not on the blobs, but like on the pots, mm -hmm. it's like 50? Let me check the pedals. Wow. Uh, yeah, highest is 50. Sheesh. So like, <laughs> they're like super easy. Especially if you have a maxed out hero suit. Like after you finish everything, what? Uh, it gives you like. Oh, uh, you're, you're after saying you... more stuff yeah. for Splatoon. Like, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> for like the Eterna stuff, I think so. Alterna, yeah. Yeah, Alterna, not Eterna. <laughs> Eterna. <laughs> um, if you remember the logs. If you look at them, if they have a check mark next to it, it means you got all the levels in it. Oh. Yes. So that helps you, like, if you have all the levels in them. Oh, you know something that's insane? What? So, you know about, like, the cow log? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So, apparently, like, probably like a few days ago, somebody has already unlocked, uh, level 98 on it. Dang! And 98 on the cow log is that, is the dab. Wait, is the what now? Is a dab. 
Like, just straight up, just a dab. Well? So somebody grinded so much, they unlocked the dab. Hmm. It's insane. Sure, like, there's some hardcore ones, but like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. I probably should have. I probably should not have merged all of the line art layers together. Fuck! Alright, well. Rick. You know what? I'm content with the skin, the eyes, and the hair, so I'm going to fall back as much as I can. Retreat! I I noticed while I was working on like the color for you know before I go too far. Yeah. I was noticing the color for like the lining that I have for Vega's jacket looks a little off. I'm like, hold on. I don't like that. Also, I, I've i been liking um, Undercover a lot. Uh, what now? Uh, Undercover Brella. Uh, elaborate, please. Um... Fucking. <laughs> okay. So, Undercover... Uh, basically you can call it like an... A light auto shotgun. Oh, oh, are you talking about a weapon in Splatoon? Yeah. <laughs> Der... Big ol' yeah. The shield is, like, it's much weaker than a regular blood shield. But you have automatic shooting, hmm. but you're, like, it's super weak. Oh. So, like, you have... And the shield, like, stays up if you have constant shooting. Hmm. It's like, it's... It's deep, but, like, it's not much. <laughs> right. Uh, since you 100%ed Splatoon 3 and all that jazz, what are your top two and least two? favorite weapons um for the weapons hmm uh I need to check what weapons they have I'm not <laughs> hold up yeah do what you got to uh I would probably say for me, any of the charger weapons. <laughs> oh, why the chargers? Uh, well, one, you need precise aim to kill. And two, sometimes their charging is just, like, just so long for me. Mm. Um, by second? Would probably be. Uh, what up? Let me go to Sheldon. (laughs) 
Oh, still done. Um... Probably say the the dynamo roller. Oh, why the roller? Oh, well, the dy the dynamo specifically. Uh, because like it's because like it's flicks is so long <laughs> to actually hit. Fair. And then my second, the well, my third least might be the the Gal family. Oh, but sure they have a buttload of damage, but mm. like it's so slow to me, honestly. That you might be missing the splat fest. What? The splat fest. Wait, there's another splat fest coming up? Yes, it's gonna happen in hold up. In like two and a half hours. Well, sucks to suck. I guess I'll I'll deal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, cause I wanted to. Like, the main reason on why I'm drawing now is because, like, um, Fridays are supposed to be my drawing streams as is, so... Yeah. Like, if I'm going to miss Splatfest, I'm going to miss Splatfest. It sounds like there's plenty more Splatfests as is, so... Yeah. <laughs> if I'm going to be missing something, I'm not going to be missing much, realistically speaking. I, I think it lasts two days, I gotta double check. Taking my long ass walk. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it lasts two days. So it goes from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, then, yeah, I got plenty of time. I'll probably do some during, like, my spare time in between streams. Just because, um, actually, I don't think I have anything planned specifically for Saturday, because that's my game night. I might do a uh, Splatfest then. Okay. Uh, the Splatfest competition is... Uh, the question is, what will you bring to a deserted island? What are the choices? You got Team Gear, Team Grub, and Team Fun. I have to think on that. Yeah. My younger brother chose, I think, Team Fun. I chose Team Gear. Ah. Uh, I mean, both of those are pretty important. Like, you need to have some sort of fun and way to relax. Like, even though you're in, like, a dire situation, like, you do need something to try and keep morale and such up. I would think that, like, like, with Team Fun, yes, you get the like, plus morale, plus, like, all that stuff. Like, keep your head up. And then you got Grub, which, like, um, you get this delicious food for, like, the next days until you're saved. But you got Gear, which, like, helps increase the survivability 
if the rescue years do not come. Yeah. You do have to be ready for a lot of possibilities. So, I mean... Yeah. It's like a lot of people saying, like, <laughs> if you're team gear, who <laughs> would you be? So I'm just going up and down the stairs in squid form. It's just, it's just really funny. If we wanted to, uh, during your platoon time, <laughs> we could play together. That would, that would be nice. Even if we're like, inside the wrong teams. <laughs> mm. Depending which team you pick for the spot fest. Right. Because I think spot fest only affects uh, turf war, I believe. It's just when it happens. Spin me right around, right around.
I know that. Hmm? Bean. How are you doing, Zelda? Anything new going on in the world of chat? Cat is expired. <laughs> mm, nah, probably lurking, but it's totally fine. Uh, let me see. There is a total of like yeah. five people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm drawing two uwu. Ooh, what you been told that I'm going to be eating dinner. <laughs> no, in that's just my uncle. Soon, but I wasn't oh. told a specific time to prepare for. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I was more concerned. I, I heard a motor and I'm like, was that a car? What? <laughs> ah, yes. Getting perfect internet for my car. <laughs> Uh, that, that's a mood, Zelda, like people telling you, hey, get ready for dinner, and you're not told what time to prepare for, for dinner. Secret things, who hoo hoo XD, but things I'll share soon. Secrets? Secret. I'm gonna post it into the thing. That's my assumption. I mean, Anastasia uh, loves to do, like, secret stuff. Um, they actually make um, stuff for um, a friend of ours. Well, a few friends of ours. Uh, Sayami Miyasa and Lance Nanakola. Um, so, if anything, Aura might be working on something for that. I don't know. Most likely. Mm -hmm. He he you know me well uwu. <laughs> Hello. Well, whatever you got going on, I'm really curious to see it, Aura. I'm a lot better at keeping secrets for other people than I am for keeping secrets for myself. So if you want someone to spoil it too, because you're Think. you're you're too excited and it, your brain is like that this is so good, I don't know what to do with it. You could probably come to me, and I'm probably gonna forget it in like five minutes. <laughs> I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at keeping secrets for other people. I'm shit when it comes to trying to keep secrets for myself. Like, when I want to do, like, promo shit or whatever, it is so hard for me to, like, take a step back and go, okay, this is what I want to do. This is... I should not, like, put any special bits for it. I just need to be as, like... I need to try to be as clickbaity as possible to try and get people's attention and intrigue. But then I just proceed to just give... Give hints so 
thin that they are that they are so sheer they are practically non-existent. <laughs> so you're saying like like you promote but very small amount. Yeah. I would like a bug for your promotion. Uh, wait, Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions Sorry, people my, are trying to I portray. Am, like, Please remember to use tone up. indicators <laughs> I know. to ensure you are right understood. Now, so I'm like, for example, hey? slash G means genuine tone, <laughs> slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Um, elements, I am going to explode you. <laughs> Oh, I just fell off. I I mean, stream elements is just doing their job. I have that. <laughs> I know, but still. <laughs> is the is the text of speech like too loud? No, it's just it's just like elements just keep on coming in like hey. I honestly didn't know slash G meant genuine. I always thought it meant general. <laughs> Yeah, no, slash G is meant to be Did I just G. hear a stream elements tone indicator message from across my room? <laughs> like, Zelda. not directed towards a specific person. <laughs> I just want to do. It's Zelda. I just want to send a clear message from across my room. <laughs> that fucking emoji, though. That fucking emoji. <laughs> oh my god, I see it. Jeez. <laughs> this is why I love we it. love Zelda. This is why we love Zelda. Is that, is that their own emote? No, I don't think so. No, also wrote, from... I sent you something on Discord DMS LOL. Uh, meow. I must see. I am drop I am going to drop everything to see this shit. <laughs> what uh, has happened? So, okay, the emote looks to be from Hina Games, and also- <gasps> Oh my god, this is so fucking adorable, they're gonna fucking flip Aura Stacia, holy shit! They're going to f- they, they are going to fucking love you. I swear. Here's a reminder for Dusk that he's an amazing person, adorable bean, and it's a big cutie slash look. G slash SRS. That's the point, it's a ah! secret! I, I, I dances. He's a secret, and only and only <laughs> I, I, have been given the, the power and responsibility to keep this secret. Uh, <laughs> I I am excited. I am humbled. Thank you, Aura. I am very excited. I am very excited to see this finish. Y'all be keeping secrets from the bean. That is right. L M A O M U A Ha Ha Ha. <laughs> no, how dare you keep secrets. Like I said, I can keep secrets for other stuff better than I can for myself. You'll all see it when it's finished. Have patience, cute friends. Uwu. Yes. Makes me wonder if you'll actually if you'll have anything uh, special drawn for like Halloween stuff. Like, if you're gonna be in, uh, people's streams Unfortunately, during October, patience oh. isn't in my dictionary. Patience is a virtue that I refuse to have. But, um, Orastasia, since you're on Lance's stream sometimes, have you thought of, of, um, creating an alternate little design for your, uh, reactive so that it's more spoopy?
Well, I'm wondering is like, Wait, since what? you're gonna have something drawn for you for your uh for your filler. Ha 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 ha! And I don't know, mm. maybe. I don't know what to dress up for this year. Three C could be cute though. I mean, could be cute, could be spoopy, could be both. You could try and combine the two. It's all of them. Throw the emote over your face and boom, instant spoops. Exactly. Ah ha ha God, I still remember this, uh, uh, the unique map in, um, in 2, for the Splatfest. Wait, what's up? What about Splatfest? Uh, I remember in 2, like, they have unique, uh, maps for Splatfest. Mm. Who knows? They, I'm might, wondering what... they might do that for three. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's what... yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I wonder if they're gonna have any like unique maps for it. Like, I understand like if it's not gonna be in the early spat fest, but I'm really hoping for like in the later spat fest. Right. I can still remember the last thing I dressed I up as for Halloween two, many years ago. This is one map which gives you uh, a special from Splatoon 1. Oh! I honestly haven't dressed up in like a long time. The last time that I dressed up was senior year of high school. I dressed up as, well no, technically it was the very last anime con that I went to, I dressed up as uh, Marluxia from Kingdom Hearts. Ah, okay, so it's not, see I remember in his like vtuber model he has the hair kind of separated like that but i guess it's just gonna continue the gradation it's your own art style you can do whatever you want to do <laughs> uh depends like it may be my style, but I do still want it to be faithful to. I need to do something what real quick. Like. I'll be back. Yeah. Okie dokie.
That's much better. You're much better. <laughs> hmm. Ah, not what I wanted to do. All right. Now for a moment of truth. <laughs> God, it's not coming out as I intended. Fuck. Why oh, I didn't see it. Right, let's see if I can see eighty percent opacity. like I'm trying to get some of the color like some more of the color in his hair because like he has a very distinct uh, gradation mm. um. and like it's very nice and colorful Bright color. <laughs> oh yeah, very bright uh, color palette. And I need to have... I think I have an idea on what I'm going to do.
like that. Now I actually want to, um, I want to add another layer of like the lining for the hair just so that it doesn't look so muddled. How many times did I? Come on. It's really hard getting that great. There we go. <laughs> There's still something off with the the yellow. It doesn't look right when I do the yellow. So I'll have the yellow separate. That was so cool. <laughs> what? I just got I, I just killed four teammates in one special. Dang! The close range special you. too. <laughs> and it was right at the end too. Nice. I once got um a full team wipe. It, too. Ooh. it 
It's so satisfying when you get like a full wipe with a single like attack. It sure sounds like it. It's it's always satisfying, honestly. Oh, it's just me, you, and Celine. Wait, what? Uh, in the stream. Oh. And then, of course, stream elements. Oh, vibing in here. <laughs> That, that's a Euler name, okay. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, it's just a username. I just no, no, you're name. good. Oh. I'm just more like, you're, you're saying stuff and it's like, it's getting me intrigued, but I'm also concerned, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, two people in, in this lobby are called freaking, like, two separate Adult toys. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But, like, they were able to get past it because they're using, like, uh, different, like, unique characters. Oh. Yeah. add a layer actually on the shading here just so that it pops a little more alongside.
fire sirens going off. Uh, I hate the neck of the woods that I'm in. Why? Like, just literally every day, um, because I live right next to a fire station, every day sirens go off because trucks are just going off doing whatever. stretch because my back does not like me right now. The chair that I have at the moment for my office and whatnot, not all that good. Not not all that yeah. good for sitting or really any how anything in general. Like my shoulder blades really do not like me. Oh, that sucks. You know what's really funny? What? About... Skippy Spatoon 3? Like, there is this, um... Like, you get, like, little medals. Right. Not really, like, medals, but, like... Things like, hey, you're, like, the number one... Uh, jump spot, or whatever. Mm. And it's really funny... Whenever you just, um, you use a special and say, hey, you're the number one user of this special, when you're the only one using the special. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, I think your sneeze didn't go through the, uh, the thing. <laughs> I I heard it through the um the stream, but not but through it didn't the go uh, through with the Discord oh. chat. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle again. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's doing like a bit of construction. Uh... Like inside the house. <laughs> What did you do? Oh no. Okay. So, what happened? So, Orastasia redeemed the language roulette, which means, unfortunately, I'm still struggling to figure out how in the hell I can show it on stream. Uh -huh. But, uh, what I have to do is I have to roll a wheel that I have made that consists of all of the languages that I have studied, including uh, the conlane Tokipona and one of my personal conlanes. Whatever it lands on, I have to I have to speak for five minutes. Uh... 
and a lot of these I have not studied in a good while, so I am incredibly rusty. I was lucky last time when this was rolled and I got my con lane, but I stumbled when I realized that I did not have a word for clock. <laughs> oh, rip. I, I think... I think Orastasia here just wants to see a gringo fuck up with Spanish. <laughs> like, here's the thing, I sorta of know Spanish, so... <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately I cannot um, show you guys the wheel. You are going to be able to hear it. Uh, so let's see where this goes, and I'll also have a timer for five minutes, starting as soon as this finishes. Te mierda! Uh, okay, cinco minutos. <laughs> Finish. Nice. Te mierda, Orstasia. A-C-I-E-S, Jafi. Minigos. I said... Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Minutos. Minutos. Oh, no English. Careful. So, Road, how is the stream going? No puedo decir algo más, lo siento. <laughs> Selene? <laughs> ES2 Destino Uwu. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm a few places at once. What's up? You're struggling so much, aren't you? Road, Gieres K T E A U D A M O S. L O L O L. Don't be shy on my account. I won't make fun for you. Asterisk of. <laughs> 4K road, no digas nada. Porque estuve estudiando por semestre en universidad de internet, pero no comprendo mucho.
I mean, it can't be worse than the TDS butchering what I wrote. And I'm not even sure I did it right. Lo hablas bien, no worries. <laughs> Okay, that was, that was five minutes. Fuck me, Cider was a double-sided dildo. God damn everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're it's, lucky that you didn't have much conversation. Yeah, but it's like at the same time, it's like I want to be able to say shit. I, I, I want to be able to study languages. Like one of the big la, things, la, la, la. On, one of the big Carol reasons why I have. Solamente no he es serioso. Queremos escuchar el oh my God! En <laughs> the TTS, the TTS is butchering that this so fun, bad. <laughs> I, I'm glad you were able to relish in the shot in Florida that is my hubris as a goddamn gringo. See, you better not submit. Pero uno se me cerró solamente, no es, no es serioso. Si sí. uh, queremos escuchar el rindo a hablar en español. Uh, but one of the big reasons on why I have the, the language roulette wheel is because I do want to try and have some way to practice other languages and also. I'm tempted to refund that people. because you just went silent instead of speaking it. <laughs> no, I mean, if others want to, if others feel like they want it refunded, like that's fine. Orastasia was the one that that redeemed it, and <laughs> Aura seems like they're <laughs> having a good time. Which reminder, Aura, uh, pronoun check. I don't think I've ever gotten your pronouns before, Not, actually. No, it's fine. Orastasia seems content. <laughs> I, I, I love I how... Knew it was fun, lol, lol, I'm satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> I keep meaning to want to try and ask more people to, like, help me practice she my Spanish her. and other... She, her. Good to know. Um... It's like, I want the language roulette to be a way for other people to m possibly have, like, an environment where we can come together and, like, Pleased to meet you, do other Orastasia. languages. Orastasia. I'm Selene, and I also use she slash her pronouns. Because, like, yeah. I'm a linguist and all that jazz, I think it's very important to learn other languages and also to also kind of understand um, how difficult it can be to learn another language so that especially in relation to a lot of Americans I, and native English speakers I know that are very ableist and xenophobic with uh, regards to that how they see uh, various peoples especially those learning English as a second language hopefully as much as it hurts me sometimes, hopefully you can show an example of how difficult it can be to learn another language and maybe some people can be humbled. You, you get what I mean? It's completely understandable. Yeah. It's still kind of funny to me that you were able to, you can like, walk all the way into the enemy space. Wait, what? I, I, sorry, I couldn't understand you all that. You're kind of muffled. 
Sorry. Uh, nice in three, you, like, you can still I'll walk be sure to do the a more formal space. intro on Rhodes Discord server later. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's very easy for me to pick up, like, the, uh, the basics of a language. Um, I don't mean to have that sound like I'm tuning my own horn. I understand the wording comes off that way. Um, but I've, I've always loved learning languages, like, even though one of the things that makes it very difficult is not having a community. Even English on its own is difficult, I hear a lot of Americans using it in odd ways, then turning around and spouting proscriptivist drivel. And there's oh, a yeah. lot of Englishes out there. Or Astasia, I'll look forward to seeing your intro. Yeah, you're not wrong, uh, Celine. Um, and that's kind of a reason on why I've wanted to have the language roulette wheel as well, because, like, a lot of people need to understand that, like, especially coming from me as a linguist, when linguistics is such a just a cesspool of elitism, especially among English scholars. Maybe this could be some way for those that are wanting to get into language learning and language study to kind of humble themselves and realize, hey, other languages and even English itself are complicated as fuck. Like to, to yeah, pressure like... people to be like learning another language be like because it's part of the country or whatever is a very ableist and very classist uh, mentality, and people need to understand how much effort it takes and how much community it takes to learn another language. And when you just dismiss people and go, oh, you're not trying hard enough or whatever, you're in my country, you gotta speak my language now, you really alienate people the... from the community that they need. The greatest example would be like, I guess like Latin, because nobody can like properly speak of it unless you actually study it. Yeah, and I mean, even then, like with Latin, that's kind of contested considering the fact that language is, is a way to communicate, not something that usually works in a vacuum. Oh. The language I most wish I could learn is American Sign Language. Yo, ASL, I've been wanting to get back into learning ASL. Um, one of my friends actually back from the state that I used to live is actually deaf and she was giving me some pointers to help me improve. She even gave me my sign name. But yeah, no, language is a way to communicate, not something that usually works in a vacuum. Unfortunately, especially when you deal with a lot of ethnocentrism and xenophobia you get a lot of people but especially also classism especially classism that's Why -O 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 especially cool. a thing in english like you just get a lot of people wanting to make uh excuses and ways to alienate others and create complexes like why like i'll give i want i want to give this fact about English, about language, for free. Um, English, in my opinion, as someone that has studied uh, English and someone that has had to teach English, is inherently a very classist language with how it is currently. Ever since the 1700s, when the Latinization movement really started kicking, uh, this is when we had the beginning of if any of you have heard, like, the rules regarding, like, essay writing, like, don't use prepositions at the end of your sentences. You cannot, uh, you cannot use, like, certain words and many words that are used in, set in essays movement. are based on French and Latin and Latinate terms uh, because of the perception that during the 1700s and such, up until very recently, French was considered the language of prestige uh, and aristocracy and royalty. So because of that, English scholars, people that paid their way or were basically given their way into their field, would uphold the status quo that was emerging 
that mandated a sense of class. And that continues even into today where we get a lot of of uh, AAVE or AVI uh, terminology that is taken into like uh, slang, but a lot of quote unquote higher class uh, individuals or people that try to promote continuous classism continue to downplay that or downplay, minimize, and weaponize the slain and also down, uh, downsize, minimize, and weaponize. Uh, Germanic speaking okay. and Germanic rooted uh, terminology, while a lot of Latin terminology such as like confiscate Hello. and rejuvenate, words like that, rooted from Latin and French, are treated as higher words. It's a big reason of why there's a massive literacy crisis, at least in the United States, uh, predominantly hurting uh, Latine and uh, BIPOC communities because a lot of the Latin terminology is on like our legal documents and our medication. And because of how much of a struggle it is to get a proper education in the US lately, namely BIPOC communities are disparaged and it's done on purpose because of the inherent classist nature of English. Also, hi, Rinka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, but I'm now at a family friend's house where my internet connection is usually spotty at best. Oof. You, you, do, like... you do what you need to, Zelda. Thanks for coming to our tech talk. <laughs> <laughs> and this might be why I have my... Bad internet or little... not, I'm not missing the bean. <laughs> I've been called CLA assist because I'm bad at AAVE, but that's more I just don't engage with content in AAVE much. It makes talking with some people super embarrassing because we just don't speak the same English and I'm supposed to know the stupid language. Yeah, no, I, I get the aggravation with that. I, I'm not quite sure person. I've never dealt with someone calling me classist because I don't know Avi. I like, I'm not, I don't use AAVE. I know of it. But at the same time, like, it can be difficult to try and discern, like, is it okay to use AAVE, especially as a white person, because, like, I, I'm not sure, namely because I've never been given the okay, like, to actually use it, because a lot of the times when I have heard uh, white folks, like, using AAVE, they're told that they're appropriating, which I totally understand. Like, I totally understand, like, pe like people being called out, like, misusing, appropriating, and misrepresenting AAVE. Absolutely. Also, I think this is a reason on why I have the... the... the facts like on oh, road deer don't ban commander root they are a bot but a good one that helps with spam equals three <laughs> okay i can go on know that. and on about it if commander root is all good okay yeah thank you for letting me know rinka also i'm sorry that you had to pop in during that tirade <laughs> No, Rink Rinka's my stream mom. Thanks, Rinka. Oh no, it's all good. Um... Also, hi, I exist. <laughs> yeah, th this is my friend, uh, buddy. I'll keep it in mind for the future. Not sure who banned Commander yeah. Root in the first me, place. Hey, bunny. <laughs> that may have been me. During Can you not tell my picture? 
Yeah, for banning Commander Rune, that may have hard. been me on a Even solo Spanish night. Spanish has so many variations within communities. Mexican Spanish vs Puerto Rican Spanish vs Argentinian Spanish is similar in the base of it, yet so different. Oh yeah, Orestasia. That actually reminds me of a song from like a decade ago. Um, que ni siquiera sabe dar en español. Have you seen that? Actually, funny. You said that you know Spanish too, right? Not much, but it's like spotty. Because yeah. mm, I was going to say, have you seen that? Have you heard the song Que dice que les hablaré español? I've never heard of it. Look it up. I'm assuming. I'm, a, I'm assuming there's just a person. Uh, a person just butchering Spanish like crazy. No, it's it's two Latinos. I love that, are... that song, Suntru XDD. I know. I Yet love the song. Fine. If you yeah. ever have questions on who to ban, I'm always around. E, thank you, Rinka. But it, uh, que dice que hablar if I can pronounce it, damn speech impediment. Que dice que hablar español is a song that's basically talking about, um, how the different types of slang and Lovely dialects of you, Spanish, Rinka. like all around the world. I had a friend from Spain, and I sometimes struggled to oh. understand them 100%. Oh yeah, well that's also because there's a difference in accent uh, between like European Spanish and uh, and Latin American Spanish. Yeah, because like they're all different kinds of Spanish because they're not like fully. Well, I mean, I'm meaning more specifically because... like slang aside, European Spanish is more known to uh, pronounce uh, like. S's or cert or certain sounds in the middle of words as a th, whereas in Latin, nice to meet you as well. Whereas Salini. in a lot of like uh, Latin Spanish, uh, they pronounce it as an s. So like it. So like Barcelona, Barcelona, you would pronounce it like that in if you're like Argentinian or you're Puerto Rican. But if you're like in Europe, you would pronounce it Barcelona. Mm. Or Barcelona. You wouldn't pronounce it Barcelona. It would be Barcelona. Mm. Similar because thing like, with like the word gracias. My... It's gracias in, or it's gracias in, um, in Central America and South America, but in Europe it's gracias. Like it's a th, not an s. Yeah, because like uh, my uh, my mom's or both of my parents' sides of the family is from uh, Mexico. Mm. So I've so I've learned uh, part of that Spanish from the Latin American mm. uh, side. Yeah, I was... even took like yeah. a year or two in Spanish. Mm. So. Yeah, and for me. I'm just, I'm white. I'm like white, white. And like <laughs> I, feel I, white. I was not raised in a very diverse family. Like even when I was trying to teach myself multiple languages when I was a kid, I was honestly not really given much of a community. So it was very difficult for me to like actually feel comfortable with trying to learn other languages because at least with the culture that I was raised under there was a very prominent intimidation against um, being multilingual like everyone had to fit like the same language the same kind of mentality the same faith all of that and it was very difficult to, to quote-unquote step out of line so that's why yeah. language and language skills are even more important to me because with how much I know that language can be hidden from people and knowing like how much power there is in community with language I want people to understand that power as well but in a positive way how we can all work together to respect each other respect each other's progress and in learning languages and also respecting each other in like giving advice to improve language pronunciation 
and communicating in general to better understand each other, not just with learning that our language is, but in understanding each other's boundaries. Like, that's another reason on why I have the tone indicators, not just because, oh yeah, neurodiversity, sometimes it's hard to understand emotion in text, but also because, like, emotional awareness, like, the, the awareness of, like, the emotion that someone is trying to portray is just as important in communication as what you, like, the words that you say. We're in, like, slightly stronger. <laughs> that, <I'm> sorry! <laughs> <laughs> This is why this is under Chef's Choice, because this is a special interest for me, and I can go absolutely ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why having a podcast would be amazing. <laughs> I was actually on a friend's uh, podcast a few months ago, where th I was on like a... It, the, the podcast is called Necessary Tangents, and we were going off about uh, the relations. Uh, Yell here. Like how I can see um, uh, similarities and allegory uh, with the Kingdom Hearts characters, the Kingdom Hearts story and plot, and dissociation. Hell yeah. <laughs> or Orastasia, are you good there? Are you good there with that typo? <laughs> oh my goodness. Freaking Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Look, Kingdom Hearts was my childhood. And it's influenced me more ways than... More ways than you would expect. <laughs> L O L O L O L. Can you know how it's just like a story that's like confusing? I mean, it definitely is confusing like even like for me even with having known the series since its flippin inception um it can still be a bit confusing I remember hmm? yeah I remember like um oh did you get the last one now? okay oh, Olivia? Goodness. My grandma. Was... Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, it's just I gotta take my grandma to uh, the Hispanic store that's nearby. So. Ah, I see. Yeah, so I'm gonna hop off for a bit. Okay. So. Okay. I'll still have your stream on. It's just. Yeah, just gotta be working and yeah. doing errands. That, that's fair. Yeah, you do you. It's not really Aaron. <laughs> you do you, I do me, and we won't do each other. <laughs> Are you sure? Look, come on, it's Markiplier. Drive safe. Just because Markiplier can say it does not mean that it's okay for us to say it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even meaning it in. Look, we may have come, we, we may have a mutual king server, but it did not mean it that way. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> also, Orastasia says drive safe, you dumbass. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna drive safe. <laughs> you fool! You know how to drive! <laughs> <laughs> also, alright, you don't need to know about it. <laughs> I 
Also, uh, when I was saying that, I was doing like a stance. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha, I am crying. I I'm glad that you're having a good time, Anastasia. I'm sorry, but you're waiting for it. You're all good. Uh, if you're gonna be Mother driving, God. since I am still, I went still... to clip it and the UI crashed. Oh no. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Celine. I'm sure you'll be. Uh, one of us will be able to like highlight it later. Also, Bunny, if you're going to be, like, out, out in driving, um, could you please mute while you're on the road? Yeah, I will. All right. Just don't want you, it's like, you. deafen, <laughs> like, focus on driving. I want you to be safe. Yeah, I know. Okay. If you're driving, drop off the call, ya yeah, yuts. Oh, Celine says if you're gonna be driving, get off the call. It's not like it'll cost you anything to rejoin later. Yeah, that is a fair point. No, I don't want. Bunny, it'll be fine. Like, I, I appreciate you wanted to stick around. I more than appreciate it, but I would rather you stick around and hop back in after you're safe. Asking Bunny to hop in makes me grin a little. <laughs> Alright, I think that might be all that I need to do for... Vega. I'm not seeing much else that I need to like add or anything. Let me double check. Oh, the little clips for the um, the straps. That would make sense to add. Wow, it looks so good, Road. Ah, thank you. Just got a few more touches, and then it should be good. I just need to make the... Uh, the stars on... the bottom of the pant leg here.
there's only a little sliver of so I'll just I hope everyone's been doing all right today. For those that are just tuning in or don't know my content, hello, I am Road to Dusk. Uh, you can call me Road, Dusk, just anything that you would call a friend. I am a, a variety streamer that's been slowly getting into streaming more content, especially ever since I hit affiliate, which I really appreciate everyone that has been supporting me so far. To celebrate uh, getting to affiliate and getting close to a uh, hundred followers uh well a hundred yeah followers on twitch and over 50 follows on uh twitter i'm going to be doing a dawnathon uh on the 30th of september there's a few things regarding like personal finances that i need a little assistance on because tutoring as an esl tutor can only get you so much but I'm hoping um, on that day that I can continue to give you guys what you want and need for a streamer, for a variety content, from a very chill perspective and environment. Uh, please do note that we are a safe space, so um, if you are uh, dissociative or struggling in any way with disability or mental health, this is an and or are also a part of the uh, LGBTQIA2 plus community and or are uh, BIPOC, like indigenous, uh, black person of color, uh, AAPI, uh, Asian and Pacific Islander. Um, everyone is welcome. Like everyone is welcome here to sit and stay if you need to lurk, that's totally fine. Just hoping to uh, create an open environment where everyone can feel uh, welcome. This is also meant to be a community where we are open for discussion on a lot of topics that some people may not like to hear sometimes. And before we go too deep in discussions like that, we do do our best to give trigger and content warnings. If any of that sounds up your speed, um, also, I do want to say, like, drawing, but also I do gaming. All, all of the uh, cheering for my community aside, if any of that sounds like your cup of tea or sounds to your interest, feel free to stick around. I would love to, uh, I would very much appreciate the company. For the lining and such, that will actually do it. Oh, I do want to add 
a cute little bit of Where's my luminescence? Because I have an idea first. I want to get this darker so I can see what I'm doing. How about his hair jellies, shocked, slash GQ slash NPA? Wait, hair jellies? Hair jellies? His hair clips. Oh, the hair clips. Thank you. I'm so not used to drawing like hair accessories that I completely forgot about their hair clips. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Orastasia. I have returned from driving. That was a pretty quick drive. Yeah, like I said, it was pretty close, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> How long would have gone? <laughs> uh, not a whole lot, Night actually. Night slash dances. <laughs> That's what they all say. dumb and just deleted the layer instead of saving it but I don't want to just delete so much progress on this on this so I'm just going to find it on his discord <laughs> yeah it's best to like be safe <laughs> exactly LMAO oh, Mood DW. Oh,
get you doing good over there? Is that? It, you doing good? I'm hearing a lot of scuffling. Yeah, just looking for something. Okay. Yeah, I can find it, but I don't think it's in your... I don't think I'm going to find it. <laughs> oh well. What's got you chuckling? <laughs> I did not realize. Um, <laughs> remember when uh, we were talking about you having a robe? Having a what now? Uh, like you were having the robe. And then the, like, the viewers all are, like, the cars around it. I think... How dare you forget. <laughs> and again, it's probably been like two hours ago. Yeah. Look, ADHD brain go burr. He's a new gopher, apparently. <laughs> also, I'm surprised. It's been two hours! Oh, yeah. I normally go for like four hours on one piece of art. Well, well actually, it's been a total of three hours, but I'm saying it's been two hours since. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> yeah. Best friends. Yeah. I think it's his nose. <laughs> Jump. There's something up with Vegas' nose. Let's turn it into a button nose, see if that helps. Okay, that helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. What's up? It's like how, um, <clears throat> I was kind of thinking like how sometimes, uh, like the character will like bounce whenever it speaks. Mm, yeah. But now it just lights up. <laughs> Which I completely forgot, by the way. <laughs> oh. Need to plug in the tablet. All good. My, ta my charger is like 
right here, and it's super long. So, no need to worry. Just so long as I can find the hole. Yes. If you were thinking that I, the way I was thinking, then yes. Yep. Oh, I did that on purpose. I wanted to try and see if you were going to go for it. <laughs> I knew it! It was a bait all along! <laughs> How dare you try to out my horny. <laughs> Look, my a lot of my streamer <laughs> friends do it to me all the time. If it's something that you legit do not like or you don't feel comfortable with, I, I will stop though. Nah, it's fine. Perfect. Okay. Fine. It was just kind of funny to me, honestly. You spoon doing good? Yeah. I do need to figure out what I want to do for dinner soon. Uh, you. No, I, I, I'm not <laughs> Hannibal Lecter, thank you. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I'm your dinner. Mm, still not Hannibal. <laughs> I meant the other dinner. Mm, not in the headspace for that. I'm... I know, understandable. Yeah. Okay, finished my intro on our server. Yeehaw. Oh, 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 oh. I want to see the intro or 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 Stacia. Ooh. Can't believe it is intro. Oh my god. I love the glowy star. Yeah, the glowy star is adorable. I mean, Bunny, you can write an intro for yourself as well. Well... But then again, I'm lazy. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to do it sometime. <laughs> no, never. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Sounds like someone needs to take a nap. Nah. It's only 7 Eleven. Oh, I forgot we're in the same time zone. <laughs> I just sometimes just forget completely which time zone is who. <laughs> Mood. Because I like, oh, uh, this person's probably awake, so it's probably like morning or the afternoon. I mean, sometimes no. you're not wrong that it's morning, but it could be, like, super early morning. True. Korean. No. Everything good? Yeah, just dogs being barking. Oh. Uh, dog doing the protect? Uh -huh. oh, he just hears the other dogs are outside. <laughs> and he just wants to bark back. Oh. 
kill you. Sorry for the sirens, everybody. Everyone's sorry for the sirens. <laughs> just, we just both focus on like two seconds. <laughs> close. Just like a few touches and that's about it. Yeah. Interesting. What? We have a viewer called A Road. All roads lead to the alien. Uh. Um, Rinka if, or Celine, if either of you are still in the uh, VC, because, like, sometimes when there's really weird names like that, it could be a bot. So, I don't know. It might be good to, to like, check. Still, so, like, it's just like, just like, just look at the viewers. And like, oh, that's neat. We got this person in here. Hmm. Whisper, 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 whisper. Mm -mm. Gotta break this silence somehow. <laughs> right. Alright, I think... Let's... Actually, no, let's add... Just like a five 
percent blur. Only copy it twice. Oh, look at how much that extra layer of shadow, like, helps this pop. Oh, that, that makes the star, like, pop, pop. <laughs> I probably should actually redo the feet, though. I just noticed... Mm. Yeah, I might need to redo this. At least the bottom portion of it and like make it have like a more cohesive uh, that looks curve. so good FR mm -hmm. I think the adding a little more of that darker shadow to like the bottom of the feet uh, helped it. background which thanks to some of the brushes in procreate is actually pretty easy what I want to do Hello. <laughs> Are they just inside like a uh what's it called? A nebula? Yeah. Right, is that what it's called? Nebula? Yeah, nebula. Because it's taken from Latin and literally means cloud. I did it. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And that's what we do on the screen. Yeah. Now, for a hair of extra dimension, Dusk is a cutie. Wait, who said that? Thank you, Zelda. You know, speaking of cuties, we have Vega right here, who which I think this is where I'm going to finish this picture. I'm, I should probably take a break, get like some stretches in and figure out dinner. Because... Oh, I didn't know that, but it makes sense since Nablado means cloudy in Spanish. Mm. Hey, hold on. I just now realized, wasn't that supposed to be like, um, uh, is this supposed to be a double? Yeah, it is going to be a double. I'm just going to take like a quick 10 minute break, get like, probably make myself like popcorn for a snack. Don't forget to hydrate, Dusk. <laughs> Popcorn. Yeah, I'll, I'll get water, Zelda. But yeah, I will um, be back in like 10 minutes, get something, get some water, uh, get something to eat real quick, and then I'll be drawing Lance. But yeah, I will be sending this um, Vega's way. So for those that want to uh, stick around and... So actually, Vega is drawing as well, so... Ooh, it's Vega drawing. Yes, uh, well, there is their, it, there's his Discord info, so if you want to take a look at him, by all means. Um, with that, I'm going to set a intermission timer for, let's go 15. Just so that that'll also give me time to do like high like hygiene stuff. But yeah, uh, thanks so much for sticking around so far, and I will be back with drawing my stream dad, Lance. Uh, just need to deafen myself in the chat for a quick bit.
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back, everybody. Let's see how far we can get in um, drawing my lovely, lovely stream dad, Lance. It does look like um, my drawing is taking more power than my thing can charge. So, here's hoping that I can keep going through this, um, like keep going with drawing Lance today without um, risking um, my tablet possibly dying. So, let me undeafen and we will uh, open the chat back up. All right, oh, and actually I should probably, before I go too far, I should have actually gotten uh, the sheet for, like the color reference sheet for Lance. So I'm going to grab that now, better late than never. everyone has been doing well today. It is now 7.47, so we are just about at the halfway point from um, my lawn stream for today. Um, I am thinking of keeping going until like midnight or until I finish up this picture on Lance, whichever comes first. Although, I did recently get money from, uh, well, the commission money that, there was a commission that I did recently, and the money finally was available for me to take and like put transfer to my bank, and so I've been using some of that money for a few games that I wanted to get, such as Cult of the Lamb. If that sounds like something that people want to watch, uh, please let me know. Um, there are also some other games that I have that I've wanted to mess with, such as Escape Simulator, uh, Temtem, Coffee Talk, and games like that. If you're curious to know what games that I do have, uh, feel free to check my Oh dear. Feel free to check my uh, Discord, uh, where in the streaming discussions, um, you'll actually be able to see my current um, library. I would very much appreciate your guys' input on what games you want to see. Sorry, I have ice cream. Like a little bit of ice cream left. And I want to have as much of it as possible before it just like melts. still have charge. Yes. It is slowly regaining charge. Slowly. Ah. Before I go too, too far, I do want to try and support some of my friends. I'm going to put them in the background for me. it Uh, 
go back on for the umpteenth time. All right, let's get the colors. These are just a flat color, so I just gotta figure out how I'm going to do the shadow. Eyes are tune toned with. Okay. The inside of the ear is you. Interesting color. Right, and the ear tufts. Okay. Sorry, I'm feeling something weird and I wasn't sure what it was exactly. So. this going with
actually shorten the side tops. There we go. That's the curve that I want. Sorry, I needed a drink super quick. I hope everyone's been doing all right. For those that are just hopping in, uh, hi, I am Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, uh, just anything that you would call a friend. Um, I'm a newly budding variety streamer who just recently hit uh, affiliate. Look at that mane. Oh, I know. His hair is fucking huge. Also, welcome back, Aristasia. <laughs> trying to figure out a good way to tackle his hair. But for those that are new, hi, I'm Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I'm a nearly budding uh, variety streamer, uh, namely due to the support and uh, inspiration from folks like who I am drawing right now, uh, Lance Nauticola. Um I do a lot of drawing, I also do a lot of gaming. Um, my normal uh, streaming days are Friday and Saturday from 8 to midnight Eastern. Today was a little different because um, I've also been incorporating a day for streaming on Thursday, so it's like a late, late night thing uh, from midnight to 4 a.m. because of my sleep schedule and work schedule. Um, I will be starting to also incorporate a when a late night Wednesday stream uh, starting October. Speaking of uh, October, as the end of the month is coming near, I am actually having a an affiliate celebration and donathon stream. I want to thank everyone that has helped me get up to affiliate so far, and as a that as thanks, I am preparing um, a raffle for the Donathon in relation to uh, a, a very expensive piece of art for me. Um, you'll you'll basically be getting the opportunity for that. Uh, you'll be raffling for an opportunity to get a very very expensive commission for me uh, from me on the house. So, if any of this uh, sounds your fancy, uh, feel free to stick around. I would very much appreciate the company.
it burned like last time. Honestly, his his bangs are so floofy that they really cover his other ears. So I don't need to worry about that. I am not going to touch that shit. All right. L O L O L O L O L fluffy boy. Very fluffy boy. Very fluffy boy. Incredibly fluffy boy. Hope everyone's doing all right, by the way. Uh, feel free to put a question in the chat or redeem anything. I'm more than open to listen. What's your fave video game? Favorite video game? Uh... When we're talking about nostalgia, Kingdom Hearts series, hands down. There is a whole lot of memories, like good memories uh, for me with the Kingdom Hearts series. Also, the first video game series that I ever beat to completion with an asterisk. Um, my favorite video game excluding um, any nostalgia would have to be, um, that's a bit of a toughie. I got us into Project Diva games just because I love music and rhythm that much. I think that having a whole game, game series dedicated to like just rhythm and music is a lot of fun. It's also why I also want to get into Taiko no Tatsuji, but with how Taiko no Tatsuji has their uh, basically microtransactions set up for like the Switch game, I'm very hesitant to want to get it because like you're paying more than a retail game. You're paying more than a retail price for a game to try and have a better selection, a more variety of content, which rubs me the wrong way. Hold on, I'm multitasking. Well, trying to multitask because I have popcorn. Well, 
What about you, Aristasia? What's your favorite video game? My faves are Nier Automata and Yakuza 0. Oh, I've heard those are good. Yeah, I have you played slash watched Undertale though. Oh, absolutely. Like, I got that when I was in high school, like when it first came out. Like, I have some pretty good memories with Undertale. Honestly, if there's ever a night to where people just want to like do like a really, like really deep chill, or if I, I want to do like a really deep chill, I might honestly just play Undertale or Deltarune because those are very chill and very nice uh, calming games even with the deep messaging, uh, the deep messages that uh, Toby Fox likes to put in his games. I love Undertale slash Deltarune so much, Yeet. I'm excited for chapters 3 to 5 later on. Uh, I'm really curious to see when 3 and 5 are going to come out. Out of curiosity, does anyone have any least favorite video games? Midk. If I don't like it, I usually stop, but I guess I'm not a fan of boring looking war games slash FPS. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not really big on FPSs either. Like, especially when it comes Asterisk to. Asterisk like, boring. 
Yeah, especially Not when four. it comes to... <laughs> I was about to say, I have never heard of an FPS series that goes that, that goes into kink. The only the only game that I know goes into kink somewhere and the somewhat and even though it's not really into that much of kink is Catherine. Ah ha 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 oh my goodness. Oh you know what I'm talking about, living Catherine. What do you think of Catherine? I liked Catherine a lot but I hated the transphobic jokes and wish they were edited out I hated Catherine full body cuz I thought they did the Quatherine story really badly. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. I, I get you. Yeah. Yeah, especially with the full body, like that being the, the quote-unquote true version of like the Catherine story because of everything with Q Catherine. It's very weird. The weird's not even the right word. Like I definitely agree. It was very uh the the jokes are very transphobic and I also feel like also it, uh intersex phobic. Because with, uh, Q Catherine... Which is sad because it's otherwise so fun and I'm a blonde Catherine simp. Yeah. Uh, as I was trying to say, Q Catherine came off to me, like, uh, intersex coded. Because, like, the whole thing with... Well, first off, it was very problematic with the fact that, like, oh, first off, they're made to play into like the lolly kind of spiel which seriously rubbed me the wrong way i seriously thought the story was going to go into a totally different um thing than what um it actually did i thought it was going to be more like a uh kamashita from persona 5 kind of thing um which i don't know if that would have made things better or worse but with the fact that Q Catherine is supposed to be like we we know that Q Catherine still has like certain the uh, certain uh, aspects about the about them and to me I didn't quite uh see it as trans coded I more saw Q Catherine as intersex coded which to me, I think may, makes the whole situation with Q Catherine all the worse. Like, am I making sense with this? Yeah, totally. Because, uh, like, I do agree that Catherine is a really, it, like, a, I would say, honestly, a thought, a pretty thought-provoking series, especially when trying to talk about, um, relationships and, like, things like that. I feel like it is a very, 
like outside of the the transphobic and homophobic jokes, like it is it tries to be and succeeds in most regards being a very mature um, story and also being a very a mature story, a mature execution for the most part for a mature subject. That being relationships and infidelity. I agree 100%, spoiler the protagonist's freak out scene was so trans panicky and that pissed me off beyond belief. Mm -hmm. But yes besides that I thought the original Catherine was super fun and interesting. Oh yeah, I will be honest, I've never actually played the Catherine series, I've seen other people play walkthroughs. And yet, I... I don't fully remember the, the scene with Q Catherine. Um... But what, what you're saying with, like, the, the trans panic, oh, like, I, I, I'm at that point, like, in, like, with the memory to where it's like, I don't remember the memory, but I, I remember the feeling, and the feeling that I felt was exactly what you just described. So, yeah. I'm here to remind Dusk that he's a big cutie. Thank you, Zelda. Takes one to no one. Actually, Zelda, since we're on the conversation, do you have any favorite or least favorite video games? Chaos Catherine ending infects my brain forever though, Wolf. I don't remember that ending. I don't think I actually looked for that ending in any of my walkthroughs. I always looked for like the quote, for like the true ending for the game. Not sure about least favorite, but I have a bunch of favorite video games. Ooh, okay. What are some of your favorites then? My absolute favorite is an N64 game called Perfect Dark. It's a sci-fi first-person shooter that takes place next year. Ooh, sounds interesting. Honestly, with a name like Perfect Dark, I actually would think that it was more of a uh, of a thriller or a survival horror, kind of like Clock Tower.
give me the curve. Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. I hate this neck of the woods. Oh, I just thought of something that I think would be hilarious for Lance to play at one point. I don't know if he's played it already, but considering like his attire, and I remember he's been told that he looks like a lawyer, uh, has he played like the Ace Attorney series at all on stream? I think that would be funny. What in the world is going on at 8 in the evening that's having sire that's having police and fire trucks go off? People say that he looks like a lawyer. Yeah, I I thought I remember at, at one point when either someone I love Miles in Edgeworth. chat had said that's it. my husband. Yes, Miles the Nari meets you all the fucking way. Anyway, um, I thought I remember someone in chat, or it may have just been my own peanut gallery, being like, eh, he looks like a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know. Narumitsu Pog. Narumitsu Pog, fuck yeah. It sucks that Capcom did. Capcom doesn't have the guts to actually make their relationship canon because the tension is so fucking real between those two. What happening? Oh, we're, we're talking about, we, we've been talking about video games, and then um, I brought up how Lance, who I am drawing right now, kind of looks like a lawyer, then Orastasia brought up uh, Ace Attorney with uh, Miles Edgeworth being their husbando, I said Narumitsu uh, all the way, which Narumitsu is a Japanese name for... The, the ship name for Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth. And then I said, it's a shame that Capcom won't let their relationship be canon because the tension between the two of them is real. It could seriously cut a knife. If anything, Lance looks like a cutie. I mean, you're not wrong. How would Edgeworth not be someone's husband, though? Uh, maybe because he still has a lot of, like, realistically speaking, and also kind of coming from personal experience, he might feel like he still has a lot to process, like, personally before he starts thinking about dating or anything like that. Uh -huh.
He is serious most of the time but he does have some soft spots. He does, definitely. It just... Especially... Frankly, this is also coming from someone uh, who has not seen his character development in the most recent Ease Attorney with Athena. I still have yet to play that. And I actually have have been good in not getting that game spoiled for me. Um, but I don't know his BTW, character quite yet. coming back on into VC. Okay. Uh, I don't really know how much his character has changed. The last game that I played um, with him was uh, Miles Edwards Investigations. And... As much as I want to play Miles Investigations 2, last I heard, there is no hope for that being localized in the West. Which is weird, considering the uh, the one with Phoenix Wright's uh, ancestor from the Meiji Restoration era mixed in with Sherlock Holmes uh, was uh, fucking localized, so... Capcom, where's my baby? You're gonna give me my baby, right? Hi. Also, hey. Hello. <laughs> I just get back on and you're talking about Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> well, have you not seen any bits for the, um... I forget the official name uh, that it had, but it was one of the most recent Ace Attorney games where it was like Wright's uh, ancestor during the Major Restoration era. And um, his um, sidekick what just gave off a very Sherlock Holmesy kind of vibe to me. Wow. I've only uh, seen a person play the the original uh, the original one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the word. Yeah, so the original you... sequel? Oh. Uh, Trials and Tribulations? Because that's, ori that's the original sequel for, like, Ace Eternity. I think it went, like, Trial... Uh, it was... Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Then it was uh, Trials and Tribulations. Then it was Justice for All. Then Apollo... Um, I'm trying to remember the others. I haven't, I, 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 I haven't gone to the like, and now there's a seen, second like, the cutie on the after. screen. All right. Sorry, I was listening to the the Texas speech while you were also going off. What what's up, bunny? Bunny? Yeah, like, I... I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh... So basically, like, yeah. Uh, I have only watched the... The first three. I haven't gone into the, um... The Apollo series. Uh... Yeah, I haven't gotten too yeah. deep in the Apollo series either. Um, I did have... An ex where... She and I... Kind of joked that I was like her clavier to her Apollo, and it was it was cute, but it was a toxic relationship. So we're not going to talk about that. Understandable if you don't want to talk about stuff. Hmm. Oh yes, press is active. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Splatfest. Oh, well, have fun with that. Yeah, it's just... I forgot that Splatfest deactivates, um... Uh, what's it called? Um... Ranked mode? So everyone's in Splatfest. Oh. So I am most likely going to get destroyed by lots and lots of professionals. <laughs> <laughs> Right, 
<laughs> Get it? Professionals? Yeah. Ah. Mm. I know. I'm not a good jokester. All good. <laughs> then use good old reliable. Heavy spiraling. All right. <laughs> I was like, "What is going on in the background?" And I realized, "Oh, right, it's ad." <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. All right. You know, what? I'm gonna give him brown shoes. Let me double check. Um... Oh, my tablet does not like me right now. <laughs> oh no. Well, cause with the air, with, with me doing like the airplay so that it can show on my stream, um, and it's been at like you you saw how it went on like low power mode earlier, and I've had it on the charger. It's been All right. Um. Very, very slowly, um, streaming is taking more power than um, my charger can charge. Like, oh, very, no. like minusculely slowly. It was at like 10% a half hour ago, and it's still been, and my tablet's still been connected to the charger, but now it's at 9%. God. So here's hoping I can finish this up before I lose power. Hopefully. <laughs> because you'll probably have around like uh probably around three hours maybe? Um uh, around that, yeah. Yeah. And it took you about the same time just to finish your other one? Yeah, and that was after already having spent like an hour and a half on it um, Thursday night before I had my meltdown. Oh, right. I forgot you were, you were uh, I was supposed to say recording. <laughs> Streaming. Yeah. This fucker got floofy ass hair. <laughs> no, look at his fucking hair. I'm, I'm seeing it. And now he's got more floof because, of course, he does. Flipping nine tailed fox ass fuck. Oh, you wanted to draw him, not me. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> I feel, Too late. I feel obligated to. He's my stream father. <laughs> Look, Dad! <laughs> Look, Dad! Look at my pretty picture! Oh, good job, son. <laughs> I'll put it onto the fridge. <laughs> Dude, imagine if he actually like said that. <laughs> that he might not, he might not want to, but knowing my stream mom, he might be forced to. 
Or he might be Coke, too. <laughs> oh, Monkey no. Mello. Has hopped oh, in with six raiders. Monkey Mello just raided on me? the channel with six oh, viewers. No, Monkey! Monkey Mello just hosted the stream oh, for four viewers. Oh god, raiders! Oh, why didn't I get my Spanish Inquisition? Oh, come on! Oh, did it not? I'm supposed to be getting, like, my Spanish Inquisition whenever, like, people raid me, like... ah. Oh. That Hold sucks. On. My alerts. Um... Uh, is... Like, I didn't even hear that from... Alright, you... No. Oh. Uh oh Yeah, no, it, it's okay. It's just my... The iPad is on low power mode, and so it was like, you haven't done anything. We're gonna turn off. Bye-bye. <laughs> it was like... It's like 30 seconds? Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna let that stay off for a bit because I'm confused on why it didn't want to do the thing. Let me mess with it again just a tad. Alright, I'm going to do a test with my thing but for for those that came from monkey stream hello i hope you're doing well my name is road to dusk you can call me road dusk anything that you would call a friend i am a newly budding variety streamer and uh, gonna be celebrating uh hitting affiliate uh quite soon so uh i tend to do a lot of drawing and also gaming um Currently, I've been getting into um, Splatoon 3. Um, I'm thinking of getting back into Phasmophobia, especially for the spoopy season that's coming up. Um, I've been drawing a lot of my uh, fellow like VTuber Thanks so friends. much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. E, thanks, thanks for the lyric. Uh, but if any of that sounds like any of your guys' cup of tea, feel free to stick around. I'd appreciate the company. With that said, I'm actually going to test out the sound. Okay, that did not work. Why are you not working? Like, hello? Hold on. Oh, why is it... It's cued, but it didn't play. Why did you not play? All right, come on. It's a component. Yeah, you're a component. Ah, uh, this is annoying me. I love it when things don't work. Yeah, I have no idea why it doesn't want to work. So, I'll just have to mess with that later, because... <sighs> it may have been uh, in relation to some of the... Uh, signing in chaos that I was dealing with not too long ago. So, 
I've had to change oh. my internet browser for doing all of all of my stuff for like my Twitch stuff, because for whatever reason, Opera is not wanting to work with like Twitch login, like Twitch at all. Like I can't log in on anything connected to Opera, but I can uh, log in on Google. That's kind of weird. Yeah. and concerned on why it doesn't want to... Hmm. Okay. Well, no, I want to see if it could be, like, the link that I have to use for my um, my browser source um, link needs to be changed or something like that. Ah, uh, alright. Because alert settings... Well, I also need to find, like, the new browser source link, if that's going to be the case. Because... For whatever reason, I cannot find the link to my browser source, which is confusing. Settings. All right. Aha. All right. That's found what out I the power. Hmm. You found out the power. Alright, let's see if resetting the... Uh, resetting the thing. Alright, I'm gonna do a test alert. Um, I'm actually going to have this muted for the stream, but I'll still be able to see like if it's doing something. No, I did not hear the sound. It's you muted it, so. <laughs> well, muted for you guys, but it's not muted on my on my soundboard. it shouldn't be oh it's not even registering oh it's not even doing the action like it's in a queue but it's not committing it hmm. I wonder why uh, technology gotta love it they are smart Alrighty.
<laughs> What's got you chuckling? Just say you basically just said secret. Yeah. I I'm getting a little <laughs> annoyed. Like as much as I want to get this done, at the same time I want to get this picture done. Like my my priority. Yeah. My priorities lie more on the picture than than on some little audio immersion. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, boy, I have. Oh, boy, I have. Monkey Ray. <laughs> yeah, there was a monkey. <laughs> Thanks so much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. Thank you, Zagamus. Hope you've been doing okay, by the way, dude. What's his shirt like underneath? Oh, same. Daily. What's this? So actually... hate it when that happens. Layer problem. Wait, what? Always oh, some layer problems. Oh my god. Y you good? <laughs> yeah, I just got like the entire team on to me. Oh. Well, have fun with like, that. From, from all directions. <laughs> I guess you're just that good of a player that you got all the aggro. <laughs> Even oh, though aggro is yeah. not really a thing for... For Splatoon. <laughs> Technically there is. Really? Yeah, it's um, usually the um, brush and like the close range, like the brush, the uh, the brush, the roller, and the sweatanas. Ah. Usually, and uh, usually the aggro ones. The brellas are more like defenders, since they have like that additional shield they could put up. Ah, I see. 
and uh, some some weapons have the splash wall, which adds more defense to them. Mm. Because I remember um, in Splatoon 2, I believe, there is a kit for the the Octobrella, which has the highest HP Brella of the entire game, of I believe 500 HP. And um, and the Octolington. And the squids have HP of a hundred. Oh wow! Yeah, and one of the kits for the Octo Umbrella has a splash wall. Mm. So you got the splash wall, the huge HP of the Octo Umbrella, and I don't remember what special it had, but it was like. A very high defensive um, weapon. Uh... Yeah, like if you wanted to, you could play like as a tank, which are the umbrellas, or if you want to play aggro, which would be like. All those other weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty then. The shooters can be pretty aggro, but it just depends how the weapon does. Right. Spooky text to speech noises. Hey, hey, how's it going, Zelda? I'm currently messing all the with a website that adds making. color to black and white photos. Ooh. That sounds cool. Not gonna lie. Those websites can be a hit and miss, but usually it like gets it spot on. Right. Alright. Thanks to poo poo. <laughs> Oh, 
something's going on with my stream suddenly. Like, it's just stopped. Like, I I had, like, oh, no kilobytes for oh. a quick second. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm looking at shit right now. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah, oh. you're <laughs> now suddenly super staticky. I think it might be my internet. Something must be wrong with my internet. Maybe. Yeah, because, like, all of a sudden, like, you just sound extremely staticky. I know one that allows you to add color yourself, but I get tired of adding color to extremely cluttered or busy photos. Yeah, that that's fair, Zelda. Also, yeah, something's going on with my internet to where everything is coming in extremely late, and yeah, I am extremely confused. Everything is coming out somewhat clear now. Um, here's hoping that there's no power outage or anything going on. And if there is, hopefully I can get this done before then. Because this is just Back confusing. one, two. Am I coming out clear? There you are. That's oh. how you know it. it's better now. Yay! <laughs> I was super confused because, like, I just suddenly see, like, my kilobytes per second on my OBS is just red and there's zero. Gone. Mm-hmm. This computer said, I'm going to eat all of them. Yum. I miss you. Show love 100, show love 100. Oh. Call a void just cheered 200 bits. Hey, Kala, thanks so much for the bits. <laughs> Hope you've been doing well, by the Hello. way. How you doing, Gala? Just mad. <laughs> oh, hello!
Those are accidentally very feminine looking eyes, so I'm going to change that. Trying to wake up. And fair. Yeah, w waking up can be difficult sometimes. It is a chore to wake up. <laughs> I need to look at his ref sheet. What is his eye shape? A uh, pretty square. Trapezoid. Yeah, actually pretty trapezoidal. You're not wrong with that. Aren't, aren't most of the eyes usually a, like kind of a trapezoid shape? Uh, I mean, some of them can be pretty round, some of them can be, like, almond-shaped. Um, I would say a better comparison for eye shapes, or typical eye shapes, is more like, uh, different types of nuts. Because to me, like, most eyes just feel like they're, like, Kind of like um, trapezoids for most drawings. Yee, yeah, I'm currently over a friend's place and I've been sleeping on the couch, and it's not the great, but it will do. Oof. Hopefully you can get home soon so that you can sleep on a bed. got killed by the brush even though I have my shield up. Excuse mm. me? <laughs> confusion. Very much confusion. I forgot his tie. Fuck. Yeah, going home today. I was over to play some games. Well, hey, glad you have fun. Hope you get home safe. Looks like a flat end tie.
this team I have. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, this team I have for the spot for us. This group of people. Oh. Yeah. Because I think we got, we got me with my... Uh... Got me with my undercover. We got two Splishomatics, which has the... Crab tank. And then we have a... A gal. Which has a splash wall. Mm. Which honestly, this is a really good team. There's something about the eyes that's still making him look really femme. Feminine? I have no idea why. I think that's that's his trick. <laughs> no, cause like he still he still looks pretty masculine. Like when he's like himself, like he's pretty mask. Let's see. His eyes are pretty large as well, so... I'm gonna see if I can mimic more of the... the style... that's here. It's got a little bit of like a cat eye kind of deal. be the placement of the eyes like where I have them. Oh my goodness. Excuse you. I'm dying. <laughs> well, can't help you with that. <laughs> well, there's one way. And how would that be? Necromance. Mm, not my thing. <laughs> I 
a thing, so. <laughs> I have not been using this a lot. With that one line, it looked like he was smug.
getting better with the face shape, but it's still not quite where it needs to be. Oh no, a team member left. <laughs> you know, you would think with a game as popular as Splatoon, that Nintendo would be better at maintaining their uh, servers. It depends, like, the players, because, like, with... Cause the way it works is that it goes by, if I remember correctly, uh, peer, peer by peer. So, like, it goes by how far people are from each other. Mm. Uh, with, with Splatoon, I don't not know about some of the other stuff. Right. I know it's like it's mostly by peer by peer. I guess it can also like go by their internet, but it's mostly pure by pure. <laughs> right. Pure. It's a pair. <laughs> That's so much better. That eye is so much better. Well, that, that does look better. Even though it's a little late. But that's how they get that masculine look, was that not having a looking eye. Let me 
start with the coloring. Hooray. Hooray! Does not like me right now. It's killing you. Oh, just bad posture. Oh. And also a really shitty, really cheap uh, desk chair. Oh. Well, I'm sitting onto a cushioned box. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Yeah, I don't have any, like, chairs <laughs> in my room, so... The only thing I have is a cushioned box. What well, cu cushion? I'm not sure how you call it. But yeah, a box size cushion. Which is also a small storage unit, so. Eh, you're off the map. I try trying to get past. I'm doing my best. I might get this done actually yeah. before. I might get this done actually before midnight. Because <laughs> it's only well, 9.30. Maybe even before the tablet dies. <laughs> but yeah, what is the charge on this? 9%. It's been chugging along at 9%. Living.
I just never realized, uh... What? During the Splatfest, the catalog gets a bonus. Oh. Yeah, it gets a uh, 1.2 times multiplier. Interesting. Yeah. So I guess like this is a way to like finish off its catalog before like it switches. Yeah. Or though it switches at the end of next month. Or next two months. Two months? Yeah, in two months. Wait, what switches? Uh the catalog. The catalog only lasts for three months before it switches off. Oh, it's kind of like a battle pass, but without all the payment stuff. Interesting. I might have to act because that sounds intriguing. I might actually have to try and play Splatoon more often so that I can actually do that. Yeah, every day, uh, if you win, you get a seventy-five thousand bo boost to your catalog. Wow. Each day. Oh wow. Oh wait, no, I just realized that's seventy five thousand, not seven thousand five hundred. Seventy five K. No. <laughs> seven point five K. Oh okay. I was about to say, like what in the ever loving fuck? <laughs> and the catalog levels are um doesn't go up so every level is uh, 9500 points per uh... level Interesting. I'm gonna head off for a few minutes I'll be back if the stream is still going yeah not a problem Zelda I don't think that this will take like, there's still going to be a good bit of time to watch the stream. Like, I think I'm going to be up for... I think this will be an hour's left? An hour's worth left of material? We'll see. Chair. Maybe with all the money you get from, from the affiliate thing. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Finally, an upgrade. Right. Oh, I see that there's a few people uh, new to the stream, or at least new to watching, so hi. Uh, for those that are unfamiliar, I am Run Rosa new ones. <laughs> I am Road to Dusk, you can call me Road, Dusk, uh, anything that you would call a friend, honestly. I am a variety streamer, uh, just recently hit affiliate, and with that I'm going to be doing an affiliate slash donathon stream on the 30th of September. Um, I do a lot of drawing uh, and a lot of gaming. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually planning to do my uh, gaming stream. Not 100% sure if I'm going to do... Splatoon, or if I want to do something else, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, 
But right now I am drawing. Yeah, uh, right now I'm drawing my screen dad, uh, Lance Monacola, who I will shout out in a quick sec because my dumbass didn't realize that I merged the layers at a point to where the fur was over top the collar of the shirt. It's fine. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a lining for the fur in there that needs to go bye bye. Okay. Uh, yeah, the reason why there's uh, a donathon going on on the end of the month is not only for. Um, not only for celebrating Hidden Affiliate, but also because. While I am a uh, ESL tutor, it's not really very fruitful or reliable as a job. So um, I'm trying to see if I can find a different job, if at all possible. Um, and whether I can or can't, um, I'm going to be asking for like as much uh, help as possible for just having extra money for savings to help out with uh, living expenses and such because where I live currently with uh, my fiance, you guys may know him as Top Hat, is a little expensive. And it's also in the Diet Bible Belt, which is not that great for someone like me. So if any of that sounds... sounds um, interesting to you guys uh feel free to stick around i'd appreciate the company also sorry bunny what were you trying to say earlier <laughs> as i was about to say uh i forget when are you gonna do that stream for tomorrow uh it's gonna be eight to midnight uh eastern eight to mid yeah uh yeah, I could probably be there if you don't. Heck yeah. Either if you're doing like the multiplayer or just doing screen mode, I could win for either one. Hmm. Sorry, I'm checking a few things. Understand. All right.
Wow, how did we barely win that? Uh, what was the percentage? Oh. Uh, it was really close. Well, hey, okay. that's off to you. <laughs> Forty four to forty two. Dang, I'll bring my dog in. Okay. Hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Yeah, 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 Yeah, buddy. Because he likes being in dark places, and I mean his page, so it's like it's mostly dark. Uh... Ah. Yeah. yeah. So he likes like the dark places. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But sometimes, uh, makes my brother get scared because he thinks mm. that uh, the dog runs away. I see. Yeah, on the top of his ear as well. So let's do that. Uh, no, 
not on the tips of his uh, ponytail, so that's all right. Okay. Bean. Welcome back, Zelda. How's everything going? Pretty alright, just my back does not like me right now, so I'm hoping that I can get this done a little bit sooner than midnight. As soon as I'm finished with this, I will be calling it a night just because who my back does not like me right now. My body does not like me right now. <laughs> I will say, well, you have like two hours till midnight. Yeah. You should be able to finish it before midnight. You have plenty of time, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost 10 for me. Yay, I think we're in the same time zone, because it is 9.51 for me. Same here. A... PM, of course, right? Yeah. Same. Yeah, with my accent, you think I would be tw I would be 12 hours ahead of you in flipping China? <laughs> what? Hold up. No, you? What? Sorry, when you said, like, PM, I'm assuming my mind went, what, did you think it was, like, 9 AM? But, like, I'm, like, 12 hours ahead of you? The only place that I know that's, like, 12 hours ahead of us is, like, China. <laughs> well, people with English could, like, live in the other side of the world, so. Eh, fair, but, like, with all the chaos going on in China right now and them not allowing uh, natives to leave China, because of all the lockdowns and such, like, eh, not so sure about that. Mm. Oh my goodness. What? What's up? Everybody wants some cola. Also, I almost died from a freaking dino. Oh. A dynamo roller, if you wonder mm. what that was. Of course. <laughs> and I was saying, like, Plenty of hours ago, those things are slow, but they hit hard. Mm. Alrighty. I like the way you drew the hair. Thank you. It took me a lot of times to get the hair right. I actually had to consult Lance to be sure that I was drawing it right. Because there were plenty of points when I drew it, I was like, this isn't floofy enough. Turns out, Lance says, it's not floofy enough. So I just had to keep making it floofier. Until we got to this point where he's like, yes, that's it. Don't forget about the eyes. 
Yeah, I, I won't forget. <laughs> That's cool. You can do it, though. Disaster. I mean, thankfully this Trying isn't like a commission perfect. or anything, so it's not like... It's not like I'm gonna be in, like, any trouble. True. True. But still, like... <laughs> I'll be honest, getting the hair right is what stopped me from yeah, making too. a drawing of Lance like I did for Saya. Oh, that that's fair. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, if you really want to try and work on making drawing something for Lance, like he's a pretty sweet guy and like he's like he gives very kind criticism when it comes to like his character design and I don't blame him. This is his baby. He is his own baby, and he deserves, he deserves, uh, good drawings. Wait, what team are you in? Oh, team team club. Okay. <laughs> are you, you are team... Team club as well, it looks like? Do you think sending him a drawing of a bean will be a suitable replacement? Yes, so long as it has uh, his tails. I think he'll really like uh, his tails. A nine-tailed bean. Exactly. Exactly. Speaking of beans, there's two cute beans on screen. Zelda says you're a cute bean. Yeah. Well. Zelda, look, Google yourself. So just, just Google yourself and say that again. <laughs>
Oh boy, the modes got updated. Ooh. As in <laughs> Turf War and Summit One. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's an update. Well, we got different maps now. Cool. Nice. I redeemed something. Oh. The <laughs> you actually... Okay. Hold on. I, if I it makes it okay, this. I could do it with you. <laughs> no, no, you're good. No, it's the say-so. So, it's all fine. Like, you, you, you know what I mean by say-so, right? Uh, I just read the description. It says fun. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, so it's a very Not a the cutesy... other version of it. Yeah, it's a very cutesy version. Give me just a moment, because I want to... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Give me also a sec, because... Right. Ah. Ow, my fucking back. Just give it a quick crack. <laughs> I would if I could, but I actually don't know how to crack my back. Me either. <laughs> All I know is how to strain it, that's it. <laughs> mm. Ow! Alright. You okay? No, just my back. My shoulder blade won't pop. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So you said that you were going to do this with me. I forgot. What does cute one means? <laughs> just like. It literally just a cute. Make it cute. Don't make it the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll. If you're gonna do I it think... out of solidarity, if you're gonna do it out of solidarity, I may as well do it first. I'm <laughs> so high pitched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and? <laughs> it was so fast, too, though, too. Haha. <laughs> -ha. <laughs> That's the wonder of, of the Ara Ara, whether it's a cute, whether it's a say so Ara Ara, or a proper Ara Ara. You, you, you snooze, <laughs> you lose. And I think it's good, though. <laughs> Don't worry, wait until I get 500 more points. <laughs> <laughs> you fool! <laughs> anyway. Alright, Sato and uh, Sato Ara. Mm. Alright. Uh, trying to think how to do it. <laughs> like, just cutesy. Like, literally. So, I mean, Say So is slain for, like, basically just non NSFW, non lewd. So. Yeah.
I know, I did it terrible. I actually didn't even hear it. <laughs> wow, did not even pick it up. <laughs> it did not pick up. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> <laughs> I just heard fucking squeaks! <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't kill your throat. Don't worry, it's not, it's not really even killing my throat, it's just like... It's kind of like a natural thing. Like a natural voice. Uh, kind of. Okay. Because, because like, in my job... So, sometimes whenever I'm at speaker, or like, um, in drive through speaker... For some reason, people mistake me as a female. So... Alright, I'm getting close to... Finished. And my tablet is chugging 5%. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go! It's plugged in, but it's still losing energy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the power of floof compels you. <laughs> the power of floof compels you. The power of floof compels you. Alright. <laughs> it's like we start chanting it. Don't don't <laughs> tempt them. There is a TTS. <laughs> no, oh, you missed it. There was one time. Hey, hey. When they were spamming, uh, t well, not spamming, but they, uh, chat was putting in just, uh, a bunch of lyrics from, like, different songs <laughs> in the TTS, the, in the chat, oh, and, God. oh, it was great. They fucking rickrolled me. It was awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. Also, I got another ad. Amazing! <laughs> Boy, I sure love ads. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, I just say fuck it and then just buy a subscription. Don't, don't tempt fate. <laughs> don't tempt fate because either you will buy a subscription <laughs> or someone else might beat you to it and do a gift sub. If they wanted to, they could. Or if you wanted to, you can make me a mod. Good. I already got uh, two mods at the moment. I don't think I need a third one quite at the moment. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. Like right now, you're still small, so. Yeah. You're still small bean. Yeah, still small bean. Bitty bitty bean. Small bean. 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 What kind of bean do you describe yourself? Uh, gremlin. No, I meant no. I, I didn't mean that kind of bean. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean like you're meaning like, like a jelly bean, coffee bean, or like cocoa bean. Oh. Um. Hmm. This is, uh, I would honestly say jelly bean, namely, especially like a proper flavored jelly bean, not like a bean boozled, because <laughs> there are some, um, there are some, um, jelly beans, like, even though they're not meant to be nasty, like, they, they are kind of nasty, like the Jelly Belly Kiwi, I cannot stand that. Jelly Belly Kiwi. I never heard of that one. Uh, well, the Jelly Belly is the brand. Like they're the ones that are that popul popularized. Um, Bean boozled. Like, 
with popular like popularized jelly beans and whatnot. But uh, and they're also the ones Ooh. that kind of made uh, the versions of like Birdie Bots every flavored bean when like Harry Potter was still relevant before J.K. Rowling shat herself. Lore. <laughs> oh, you want lore? You gonna wait from you gotta wait from my lore. That ain't gonna be uh, <laughs> that ain't gonna be dropping until the um, the Donathon. I, for a second, I thought you were going to say the Kingdom Hearts lore. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going after Kingdom Hearts lore, not your own lore. <laughs> I mean, my lore for, for my stuff is... Don't. I was going to say it's not as convoluted, but it is weird. But a good weird. In my opinion, I hope. I was say what ki- I was about to say what kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> like, like, su- like sleep paralysis demon kind of weird. <laughs> that sleep paralysis demon. Uh huh. All right, now I'm interested. You ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, I'm a friend. Ha <laughs> 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 You fool, I'm a friend of you. Now you have to give me the secrets of your lore. <laughs> Do I? Do I really? Nah. (laughs) Darn. That was my secret trick. How do you get past my... How do you get past my trick? (laughs) <laughs> you fool. I invented that trick. <gasps> no! I can't believe it. That just made me think of the flippin' I can't believe you done this. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> I was just folding some clothes and I just picked up um <laughs> one of the um how was it called? The pillow sheets and I was like, what in the world is this piece of clothing? And I was like, <laughs> oh the <a> bed cover. <laughs> I am smart. (laughs) Do I talk too much? No, you're good. I'm just focusing. Right. I gotta keep someone entertained. Yeah. (laughs) 
Ooh, AKA yeah. you in the paint. <laughs> Not chat. <laughs> Just pull a flip an Adam Lambert like, let me entertain you. <laughs> So like Charlie's just lurking and I'm just like let's go let's do this a mini podcast real quick. <laughs> Alright, I th- Oh ah fuck, I need to fill in the boots. Need to fill in the boots, is that I'm done? Let's go. What's my percentage? Still five percent. Still five percent. The fluff compels. The floof compels. The floof compels indeed. <laughs> no wonder he told you to put in so much floof. Because all that floof just holds all the electricity. <laughs> We should have known! That was his secret plan all along. He outsmarted us all! Change my uh, my username just to like AC uh, Bunny. I mean, up to you. Because I'm an air conditioner. I mean, if you're really big in D and D, AC can also be an armor class. As all the classes I usually play as has low AC. <laughs> uh, what do you tend to play? Do you play? It sounds like you play spellcasters. Uh, yes. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I wanted to be the support player. <laughs> I mean. I would say support players are pretty important. I actually really love to main a rogue bard. Okay. Don't like isn't there usually like one level of fighter? Because the uh what's it search? Or something mm. like that? Action search? Yeah, the action the action search. Yeah. Yeah, because you get that in level one. Hmm. As a fighter, right? Mm, I think that's level. Is that level three? Five. I think that's at either three or five. I, I know it's like a super early skill. I, now I need to search it up. <laughs> Do it. Give me one moment. I got. I got to put clothing away. <laughs> oh, excuse me. How do you organize your clothing? <laughs> I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Usually the way I do mine is that it goes from uh no sleeve to short sleeve to long sleeve. Mm. See, I don't have the spoons to organize my clothing, so I just put shirts with shirts, like tops with tops, bottoms with bottoms, underwear and socks, um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so you have the basics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Usually I do, um... So for my shirt is uh, no sleeves, short sleeve, long sleeves. And then the back is where my sweaters and suits are at. Mm. And then with my, uh, my bottoms, it's usually on um, jeans are all together, um, shorts, and then any kind of like sweatpants or like stuff like that onto mm. one pile. So jeans get like one or two piles, shorts usually get one pile, and then the um, just sweatpants usually get a pile by itself. Mm. And then for the undergarments, it's basically just uh, basically boxes with boxers, stuff like that. Usually mm. they're all inside one single container, but into like sections. Uh, I see. Okay. My, my tablet's now below 5%, even though it's still charging. <laughs> and we are done. <laughs> The power of flu compels you! Right? Dear fuck. Okay, so I need to add my watermark on this super quick. Just slap it on there. Boom. Boom. And then put it to 10%. Boom. There we go. <gasps> okay, so... Huzzah, we did it! We did it! We fucking did it. Okay. So... End the stream! Not yet. I still need a raid. Let's see. No, just end. <laughs> no. No. Alright, so... <laughs> what we are going to do... Let's see. Ooh, I know who we are going to raid. We're going to raid my buddy, the, de the demon cat, the pitiful almond. Right name. Oh, Almond's adorable. She is also chaotic as all fuck, and we love her for it. Ooh, 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 what kind, what kind of message? Or no message? Uh, well, I'll, I'll get the raid message, uh, in a, there the we go. The road to dusk has led the raiders to you. Hello. And, <laughs> I actually forget the... Then that should be road for... to 33 raid to oh, road why to did dusk it not... has led the raiders to Grr, you. Come on, Hello. Stream elements, because I have a special. Road to 33 raid tome. I have a special little uh, emote for subscribers, but all right, let's head over Almond's way. So be sure to copy paste that little raid message. Um, give me a quick second, actually, because I also want to bring up. Uh, her on my side when they do, do, do when when they see the thing. So let's get ready to raid our wonderful friend, the pitiful almond. Uh, please. Thanks note for that... Stream Road. Great art today, BTW. Yeah, thank you, Anastasia, for those that are in my streams. Um, now that she is also 18 plus, uh, I believe currently... Oh, she is playing Phasmophobia, so get ready for spoops! Get ready for screams, because she likes to scream. Uh, but be sure to give her a nice warm hello, and I will see you all 
next time. Try not to have too much fun. Enjoy the rest of your uh, lovely morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone it may be for you. Bye-bye now. Oh, no. My